Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will be discussing about the last problem of today's weekly contest, minimum obstacle removal to reach the corner. The problem states that you are given a grid. Each cell of the grid either contains 0 or 1. 0 represents an empty cell and 1 represents that there is an obstacle at that particular cell in the grid. You can either move up, down, left or right and you have to find the minimum number of obstacles that you have to remove so that you will be able to reach from 0, 0 to m minus 1 comma n minus 1 that is from top left to the bottom right. So for example in this case you have this 3 cross 3 grid and this walls are the ones which have which are marked with 1 that is they are obstacles. Now if we remove these two obstacles we can see from 0, 0 we will be able to reach the bottom right cell without encountering any obstacles. So this is one possible solution. You can try and in this particular case you will not be able to find any way in which you will be removing less than two obstacles and you can reach from 0, 0 to bottom right. So hope the problem is clear now how to solve this. So one of the key things that you can look at the problem is you can move in all the four directions right. So if you like whenever you see this kind of things, it means you can't apply DP straightforward because for applying DP, remember you can't go back. So let's, let's say like if you are going up in one direction and then you are coming back in another direction, there will be a cycle, right? So you can't actually apply recursion without breaking the cycle. So for breaking the cycle, you will need a third parameter and here like uh, so before going into introducing this third parameter, always try to always try to represent this uh, particular grid in terms of graph because you can see like uh, each of these nodes uh, like you, you can treat each of these cells as a particular node of the graph and whatever cells you can reach from a particular cell are the edges of the graph. So let's try that in this particular problem. So let's say like you have this 2 cross 2 grid and uh, these two are the obstacles like this crossed ones are the obstacles. Now let's say we mark this uh, like we, we mark this particular cell as 0, we, this particular cell as 1, this particular cell as 2 and this particular cell as 3. Now we have these four nodes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Now we like from 0 you can reach 1 and you can reach 2 because you can go in all the four directions right so you can reach 1 and you can reach 2 so from 0 you can see there is an edge that is going from 0 to 1 and there is an edge that is going from 0 to 2 now you can see you we can like we can we have to like we have to find out what is the minimum number of uh, like what is the minimum number of obstacles that we have to remove to reach from 0, 0 to n minus 1, n minus 1. So we can assign this this edge some weight. The weight will be uh, 1 in this case because from going from 0 to 1, it means that you have to in, like remove this obstacle because you can only move to a free cell, right? So if you are saying that you are going from 0 to 1, you have no choice then to remove this obstacle at one. So that's where I marked this, uh, mark the weight of this edge as one. Similarly, from going from going from zero to two, we have to remove this two, right? So like we have to remove this obstacle at two. So that's where like the weight is again one. Now let's take another example. Like for let's say for two. So from 2 there will be an edge that is going from 2 to 3 and there will be an edge that is going from 2 to 0, right? So from 2 there is an edge going from 2 to 3. So this is the edge and notice that to go to 3 you don't need to remove anything, right? Because there is no obstacle at this place. So you can just mark this as 0. Similarly to go from 2 to 0 you can see there is no obstacle here. You can freely go from 2 to 0. Notice that there is an obstacle at 2, but what we are saying is we will go from 2 to 3. So we are already at 2. So we don't need to worry about this obstacle at 2. We are already at 2 by some means. And now we are going to 0 or 3 and that's where the edges weight is 0 in both the, case, in both the cases. 
so once we build this graph now the simple thing is like this edge remember like this edge is one the weight of this edge is one only when we have to remove something so now if we just try to find out the shortest path from zero like this is the source and this is the destination like we if we find out the shortest path from zero to three we will be getting our answer because one will be included only when we will be removing some obstacles so that's what we want how many obstacles we remove so that we can reach from zero to three so if the shortest path will give us minimum number of obstacles that we have to remove so hope the intuition is clear now let's just look at a final uh, example before we dive into the code so let's say like this is three cross three grid and uh, similar to previous uh, scenario we will mark it as zero one two uh 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay and so we have total nine nodes so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and now let's talk about this one so from one or maybe let's talk about this four so from four you can go to one you can go to five you can go to seven and you can go to three right so from to go from four to one you will have to remove the obstacle at one because you are at four you have to remove the obstacle at one to go to one so that's where the edge from four to one will be one so that's where this edge value is one similarly to go to three you have to remove the obstacle at three right otherwise you can't go from four to three uh, again notice that there is an obstacle at four but we are not we don't care about the obstacle at four because we say that we are going from four to three so we reached four somehow uh, so the we need to care about the destination cell that we are going so from four to three we have to remove the obstacle at three so that's where uh, this edge value is also one so from four to five five doesn't have any obstacles you can freely move from four to five without any issues so that's where the so this will be uh, zero so that's where the edge of this and uh, the weight of this edge is zero similarly from four to seven uh you can see the edge is edge weight is 1 because uh to go to 7 you need to remove the obstacle at 7 so hope how we make this graph is clear now what we what you need to do is just to apply a dijkstra or any shortest path algorithm that runs in order n log n time uh, to find the shortest weight from 0 to 8 so let's just quickly look at the code uh, to understand this a bit more so for as discussed we will first make the graph so we iterate over all the cells for all the cells we find out like what is the value like remember we marked them as 0 1 2 3 4 5 right so this current cell is actually the uh, index of this particular cell in the graph so this is a node now we iterate over every neighbors we find whether like if the neighbor is correct then we find out the new cell like the target cell that we are reaching and we just push back to this current cell now from like with new cell we are also pushing back the weight of this edge so the weight of this edge will be zero if the target cell is zero so uh, as from four going from four to five there is no there is no obstacle at five right so the weight of this edge from four to five will be zero similarly from four to one we need to remove this one so that like the edge weight from four to one will be one so the edge weight is simply the value of this uh, position right because value is one when there is an obstacle and value is zero when there is no obstacle so i just push this with the new cell now uh, what I did, I like this. I just applied normal Dijkstra algorithm. So with Dijkstra algorithm, we will find the shortest path starting from the source, which is zero, and the destination is rows into columns minus one. Like this is the last cell. And if we like notice that uh, there is the the time complexity of this uh, uh, of this uh, the time constraints of this problem is little bit harsh. So uh, without this uh, optimization you will not be able to get accepted so basically you have to return you will return as soon as you find out the that you can reach to the target state so otherwise if you do if you don't do this and do this 
uh, you will get TLE uh, because of the harsh time complexity. So hope you got the solution. If there is anything unclear in the solution or in, if you don't get intuition now also how to solve this, please post them in the comment section below. I will definitely answer them. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you.